When it comes to marketing your business, getting ahead of a trend is very important to your business. Today, we're just starting to see how voice search is going to impact marketing. So in this video, I'm gonna tell you everything you need to know about voice search. And at the end of the video, I'm gonna show you exactly how to set up your website so you can win at that game. Hey everybody and welcome back and if you are new to my channel, we talk everything marketing and business to help you grow. There's a lot of marketers out there that are telling you that what you need to do is TikTok or Instagram stories or become an influencer to grow your business. But data doesn't lie and here are the stats. According to Google, 41% of adults and 55% of teens use voice search daily and a whopping 20% of all Google searches are voice activated. And on top of that, 65% of people that are using voice activated speakers deemed it essential, as in they can't imagine not having it. So voice search isn't the next big thing, it's already here. So as more and more people talk to their smart speaker devices or the stovetop or the refrigerator, SEO for small businesses needs to evolve just to keep up and I'll talk more about this at the end of this video so why is voice search so popular first searching with voice is four times faster than typing a search number two voice is perfect for mobile searches because first of all typing on a small keyboard can be a royal pain and it's super convenient when you're on the go or driving and three is just a lot more convenient now voice search changes how people search. Because it's so easy, people use it everywhere. Google has reported that anything near me searches has grown exponentially. But there's another trend to watch and this one is very interesting. Search engineer noticed that voice search keywords are significantly longer than text-based searches and they are more conversational. Google even came out and said that 70% of voice searches use a natural language. For example, a simple search like organic vegetables near me turns into where can I buy fresh organic vegetables in West Palm Beach as a voice search. Needless to say, this will have a huge impact on how we create content for our web pages, landing pages, and blogs. And voice marketing changes how people get their results. In response to changing data about voice searches, Google is slowly changing how it's delivering results to you. Maybe you've noticed that when you search for something, if you scroll down past the ads, you'll see a list of top questions that match your search. And as you look at each one of them, magically more and more of them show up. Check this out using this voice search. Is teeth whitening painful? Each answer is sourced from somebody's website that had the answer to your questions asked or a related answer or a related topic. And with voice search, Google Voice will usually read you the featured answered out loud. According to Crest, some people may have teeth that are sensitive to peroxide. So if you want to win with voice search, you need to give people direct and precise answer to the kinds of things that they are looking for. Basically, the questions that they are asking that your business can answer. It's going to take some critical thinking to set yourself up to win at the voice search game. Start by identifying more conversational ways that people are searching or asking questions about what you do. In other words, what is your your version of where can I buy fresh organic vegetables in West Palm Beach. Basically where text search is based on short-term keywords like vegetable market near me, voice search will be a lot more effective with insanely long tail keywords and key phrases. One of the most helpful tools I found for this is answerthepublic.com. You get all the most asked questions on the internet right now. Each one of those questions should be answered on your website, on a blog, on a landing page, on an FAQ page. But before you go ahead and start drafting that content, there's some important things you need to know. A few years back, Backlinko conducted a study on voice search and uncovered that Google tends to answer voice search queries with short 29 words results. So let's put that theory to the test with our previous query is teeth whitening painful. According to Crest, some people may have teeth that are sensitive to peroxide. 
Your teeth may start to ache during the whitening procedure, and you may feel discomfort when drinking or eating hot or cold products. Well, that's 33 words. That's pretty darn close. I think it's safe to say that your answer should be between 25 to 35 words, and that should increase your chances to rank for that answer. So wherever you post these answers on your website, just remember to follow that protocol. Simply add the question as a H2 title or a subtitle, and just type your 29 word answer below that. Keep the length of your answer as close as possible to 30 words, of course without sacrificing the quality of your answer. If it ends up being 34 or 36 words, just so be it. Now here are some final pro tips to get your answer in the featured area. Number one, make sure that all the keywords are included in the answer. Number two, see if you can add related keywords in your answer. In our test search, the words ache, sensitive, and discomfort were used instead of painful. The broad spectrum of the answer is probably why it was the featured answer. Number three, write your answer in a natural speaking tone. Just write the way you speak. The more casual, less robotic answer will win the day. So writing for a ninth grade reading level or lower is a good target. Number four, make sure that your site speed is up to snuff. We already know that Google loves fast loading websites, but this is even more important with voice search. I use GT metrics to check the speed of any website. Ideally, you want your website to open in less than one second to be effective with voice search. Having a fast website matters a lot and when it comes to hosting you either get cheap or fast. You rarely get both. So for some businesses, it means that it may be time to switch hosting provider or upgrade to a better, faster hosting plan. If that's you, I put a link in the description below for a solution that I recommend to speed up your loading time. All right, so that does it for today. If you got value, I'd appreciate a thumbs up. Please make sure to click on my head, subscribe, click the bell so you don't miss a thing. I would watch this video or this one next. And until next time, ciao.